spoiler warning. If you haven't watched the show that we are discussing today and want to avoid spoilers, stop right there. Go binge and come on back. If you have or don't mind spoilers, sit back with your favorite drink and enjoy. Cheers. 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 Thanks for Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, welcome back to another episode of Coffee and Dramas. Today, we are going to do Wine and Dramas with our two special guests, mm-hmm. uh, Ms. Mace Hori and Ms. May Hori. Uh, you guys can introduce yourselves, actually. You guys can do that. Me first? Yeah, go, yeah, go for it. Uh, my name is Mace Legally, but I go by Mesa. And I am the youngest sister of the six, so I'm number four. I'm a filmmaker and an actor, and a mom of two. I guess that's it for me. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> is that all? And a writer and a... <laughs> uh, yeah, go on. Okay, so I'm May Hori. Um... I'm an entrepreneur. I own my own business. I have a bakery, uh, soon to be storefront. Yay! Yay! Um, I do cakes, cake pops, um, and brioche donuts, which I brought back from the UK. So, yeah. Great. And mom of three. Awesome. And our recurring special guest who's been on the show twice already. Yes. Um, I see how it is. <clears throat> you've been busy. Someone's been busy. <laughs> Just okay. living behind you for a couple of years. <laughs> Every time I look over, oh, who's home? Jace. Where's Mesa? <laughs> Mesa's never there. Excuse me. Uh, well, you've been busy. You've had a lot of projects that you've been working on. So yes. Um, I was lucky enough that May had a little break between, you know, I know when May has her breaks. <laughs> you, I don't know when you have your breaks. I live right behind you. <laughs> I don't see She you. came from a different city. <laughs> no, no, we no, did no, it on no, Zoom. No, it's on Zoom. Yeah, yeah it was on Zoom. <laughs> Which was, okay. Maybe Don't worry. It's fine. Uh, it's on Zoom. <laughs> so thanks for coming on. Yeah. Um, so what we do on the show is we talk about K-dramas, but what we do is we give a le- real-life perspective on them. Mm-hmm. So we would do this with like American television, but I watch more Korean dramas. Mm-hmm. Um, so today we're going to be talking about a show called Reply 1997, which is the most nostalgic show you'll ever watch. Uh, it's a series. It's actually a series. They made three different... Uh, versions of versions. There's three series. So there's Reply 1997, 1994, and then 1988. But I feel like 1997 is what really resonated with uh, with me and most of us, anyways, from my age group, because the 90s, yeah, because it, it goes from 19, it starts in 1997, and it goes up to, tw- to 2012. Mm-hmm. So like you see the progression of life pretty much so it's mm-hmm. six six kids in high school in 1997 i think they're in grade 11 when it starts and you see how they live their lives through the 90s to the 2000s um the reason why i wanted you guys on today was kind of like let's talk about the 90s because like this is like if you watch a show you, you, you can do it it's on netflix so if anybody wants to reply 1997 on netflix um, I'm sure Maddie would want because she's on her 90s binge right now I mean, and I'm getting like, in trouble for throwing away clothes that I had in the 90s oh, yeah. right now so so we've been thrift shopping oh for a God. while now yeah, we've been doing what Zach too. and it's horrible it's it, horrible it's so expensive for pre-worn clothes it's super yeah, weird doesn't, doesn't like H&M sense. have like a 90s thing kind of going I on I feel like it's going it's coming it's coming, it's coming like back it's just because right they now. want the bell bottoms they want like the you know the wide leg pants yeah like the they pants like it's the super baggy like pants, the baggy pants the, like the uh, yeah it's super weird and that's what it, so this is the show which is great is that it goes from you know the boy band era because in yeah. around the 90s is where it started both in the in mm-hmm. like Korea and in the States, it kind of like blew up at that time. Over there, it was HOT and Sex Keys. Here, it was uh, Backstreet Boys and NSYNC, which you guys know a lot about that. What about NKOTB? So what the hell? They, they, know because they, like, they were in the 80s. 80s. Yeah. I know, I know, they I know. They were in the 90s. They were 80s. Yeah. But they were actually the real... Yeah, they were the... They, they, they started, started it. Yes, the boy band. The Te- well, but. for white boy bands, but yeah. the for there like, was, you know... Yeah the other ones but then like alternative music kind of like took in the 90s yes and yeah. then yeah. like and then Backstreet, Backstreet Boys, Boys kinda, came yeah. in and then and Sync came in not too yeah. long yeah, after yeah. and that's what kind of like yeah. really got it going and that's like um, in the show the main 
a female lead is a obsessed, obsessed like a like she's a fan but like a fanatic of HOT. Isn't that what a fan is? A fanatic. I mean, like over excessively. <laughs> like she's part of the fan club. She like uh, stalks the. She stalks the. Uh, oh, the, I know. The, 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 yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, Someone like that. I'm saying, like, I'm watching the show. I'm not I naming know names. Like this. I'm not naming names. Let's not. But you know what I mean, like. <laughs> I was always just there, along for the ride. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. And then, you know what I mean? And then, like, pictures we'll and time, cell phones, you know. Uh, height, no, there was no cell phones, technically. Yeah, but pagers. I remember but there was cell had, phones, but it was very, 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 yeah, very Yeah, because I know mom yeah. and dad bought a cell phone for the first time, like, in the late 90s, early 2000s. Yeah, I had a, I had a cell phone in grade 10, and that was, like, 2000. And, uh, sorry, that was, like, 2000. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 99, so, uh, 2000. Yeah. And it was, Damn, uh, I only got my, idea. like... I got a first cell phone in 2004. But everyone I was else like had pagers living. Had a I, I had a list. I had a pager. <laughs> yeah, I remember you. Which had is pager, great. Which was the funniest thing ever. But I never got a cell phone until like 2004. I was like trying to like really not get one, and then I was convinced to like, have one. And I've had the same number ever since I got it. So. <laughs> but you couldn't get like I mean there wasn't you could play Snake on it. Yeah. yeah, and that's Snake. about it. And mine was like a thick Nokia. Though. Yeah, and that's yeah, like the only the, thing. The, the thick Nokia. One. Yeah, the Nokia, yeah. the thick one. Yeah, I'm sure oh, I have wow. somewhere. That one was because uh, Hasem ended up getting that for me. I think. No, I don't or know. Or Hasem got his own. Yeah. And it was those were the indestructible ones. Those are the ones that you wish you had today because you're dropping your your smartphones now yeah. and you're cracking them. These, but there's no camera. Throw at the wall. Yeah. And it would. Survive. But there's no camera in it, and like <laughs> barely text messaging at the time. Oh my god. That was the best time. But yeah, we've like um threaten the kids with we're getting you a flip phone if oh you don't oh my god but I think the razors so are back funny. the razors it's are back it's just so the funny back. but it's still like a smart it's a smart right? yeah 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 yeah, so oh. it's like, it's yeah. Like the, you flip it and it's a full screen it's pretty much that yeah, yeah come on it's not like it's but not they do be like... but it's like because like junior has junior has a flip phone mm-hmm. he mm-hmm. he got rid of his smartphone in high school and because okay. he had like one of the early iPhones okay. and he was like I can't do this this is stupid so he switched to a flip phone and then someone convinced him I don't know who it was but someone convinced him to get an iPhone like years later like mm-hmm. after high school mm-hmm. and then no no not even Maddie and then he was like this is I, I can't I can't so he's yeah, like he, wants, he just wants to text call and that's it oh good for him yeah, yeah. yeah that's good for him but now they have flip phones that are smartphones. Yeah, that's so funny. Okay. That's no, no, a lot of the, we want to like threaten them with their, like, yeah, the yeah, yeah. old flip phones where they can't do anything except the, for call. The, the, the awesome flip phone yeah. with like the one point one megapixel camera that might <laughs> that might yeah. take a picture, but it's so grainy you don't know what it is. Yeah, I wish I like saved all my fo- photos from like all my old. old you phones. wouldn't even be able to look. At, you wouldn't be able to see anything. <laughs> that's like, so I think funny. it's me. Um, yeah, and then so there's like a lot of a lot of a lot of like nostalgicness mm-hmm. in this show. Um, like the main like story is like the six kids, two of them like are in love with each other, and like mm-hmm. one's in love with the other and doesn't really um, isn't able to really confess his feelings to her till like years later mm-hmm. because she ends up dating her his brother, which was a whole I thing we were talk we were talking about. So there there's an age gap between the main character and his brother, mm-hmm. about ten years. Just graduated. He's like, I want to date you now. So creepy. Yeah. So the difference, so the, the, the slight difference is in Korea, um, you're like 19, 20 years old when you graduate high school. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Compared to here where you're 17, 18. Mm-hmm. So it's like, Still. but yeah, there is that 10 year difference. And it's like, Weird. you know your brother. The worst part is like when you know your brother, like kind of like has a crush on this girl mm-hmm. and you're still like, yeah, I'm, I'm still going to go for it. <laughs> 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 we're not talking about that <laughs> no. certain people are going to be watching <laughs> I'm telling you this show is amazing this okay. shit happens in real life am I allowed to swear yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is, you're fine you're fine so this show is like this show is like full nostalgic yeah. so what we want to do is just kind of like talk about stories from the 90s like from different perspectives because we're all different age groups right yeah yeah so you're, uh, you're. Like you were so teen, I was, you're teen in the 90s. So I was 19, 90, I started high school in 92, graduated in 96. So oh, okay. grade 9 to grade. Oh. Yeah, so okay, grade so 9 to grade. She was like, yeah, she was a teen. Okay, so I was perfect. like teen, That's teen. Time. That, exactly and then, the show yeah. 
that's where you are. Technically. Yeah, so like 97, I was in college. Okay, that So makes I was like sense. 18, 19, 97, 20, because I was born in 77, so yeah, 20. Yeah. I started high school in 98. Okay. Yeah, 98, yeah. Just a long time, and then I was, I was only nine. So I was partying eight, it like yeah. it was 1999, yeah. in 1999, <laughs> and we, that song was playing, and we, it was a lot of fun, and then we were, I think I was working at the library, and 1999 was the time when <clears throat> computers couldn't dial, like they couldn't configure yeah, the date the to 2000. It was oh, Y2K. That's right. And yeah, everybody yeah. thought there was like, gonna be a big disaster with yeah. all the computers. Yeah, and, then, and then, and then you know, 2000 came and it switched to 2000. And we're like, yeah. oh, okay. I know everyone was like panicking. It was, be, like, it was a huge panic. It was so <laughs> yeah, funny. Y2K. That was fun watching. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, it was fun watching. That's amazing. And the computers weren't like, great there was like dos computers yeah like the green like really, letters really on the black shit. screen yeah. yeah and like dial-up connection at that point i like, think I remember so we had yeah i love like with the reels now like on instagram they're like, where that's like um you think you're trying to test my patience but i grew up with dial-up internet yeah you know? <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh, man. but we didn't like i don't know we didn't have mm-hmm. internet when, when no, like, we i was got a, no we got it and you guys were guys very lucky because you guys got a computer we didn't get a computer you got I was like 17 yeah I didn't, have one. Like, I didn't have one throughout high school like dad had it that's i don't have one like when we're 17 that's when we didn't really it. need one in high school we were actually so it's funny because now they're you're they're more technology prone yeah. and all that stuff so in high school the class was um typewriting yeah like learn how to typewrite because you're gonna need it. If you don't, you're gonna be well, we lost learned. forever. Blah blah blah. Well, it it's uh, what is it called computer. in French? What is it called? I forget what it's like, called. Like our first email was at grade nine. Like they made you set up an email in like grade nine yeah, or no. ten, and then it was like typing, but on a computer, and you have to like not stare down at your yeah. Keys, and you're like, so you had to uh, practice. Yeah, it, was it was a class. Yeah. It was a yeah, class, and you had to like get like in the nineties yeah. to be able to pass. It was wow. funny. Yeah, now you don't really need it. Everybody types anyways. Regardless of if you're looking at it or not, you could type with like one finger, and, and nobody and nobody's gonna get it. Nobody's gonna get in trouble. Like I worked with a woman who had like the super like they long, scare long you. nails, and she was like, she was old. She was like oh, typing like it? this and like one finger at a time. I was oh, like, ASMR. Yeah, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh my god. Yeah. So we had dial like, dial-up connection. Remember when we mm-hmm. first got it? Because you weren't you weren't at home anymore. No, I don't. Um, and it was the funniest thing because I would always leave my work to last minute and in elementary school. I, uh, and uh, it was like, what oh yeah, surprise. by the way, I need to do this for, for school tomorrow. And it's like, all right. But I remember I remember we were on, uh, we were on Banff mm-hmm. and uh, the, we had to like, the, the phone line was there and mm-hmm. we had to like stretch it across. Oh, put it it like, so oh my god, that's super funny. Oh, that's no. so funny. And it was like... I, w- I think I was working full-time when we started getting dial-up, and it was like s- emailing clients and stuff like mm-hmm. that and sending them stuff. Oh my and then it was it was dial-up. So it was super funny. Oh my god. But, but it was like norm. Yeah, and then now it's like, holy shit. But even in college, I didn't have... Like, I had a computer that barely worked. And like, I didn't use it. Yeah, I, I used remember, the computers remember, at yeah. school. I used the computers at yeah. school. I didn't have one. And I remember like my... Um, the person, my landlord who lived above me, and she's like, well, if you get a computer, we can connect it through that, you know, like that thing that, uh, you know, the whatever connects us, like, you know, and it was Wi-Fi that she was talking about, but like no one really, like, she didn't really, she's like, you know, and she wasn't old, but she was just like, it was so brand new. Oh my God, that's funny. What is this? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I remember that computer, because I got that, when you Yeah, I think it was one of the old computers, I, yeah. Yeah, I am getting it I never used after. it, because I, I didn't have internet on it. It was, yeah, but it was a shit computer, and it was, yeah. it was so bad. Oh man. But, Oh, I was trying to like, cause I was trying to fix it mm-hmm. one day and I was, I literally spent four hours on it and it was at night. So I was like mm-hmm. sitting there like this, waiting for it to do stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah. Oh shit. It's two hours. Okay. Let's finish this. No, <laughs> cause it takes so long yeah, to process. Yeah, it was so long. It was so long. It's awful. That's why I never used it. Man. Technology has come a long way, huh? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I, I like that we didn't grow up with it. That, like, you know, mm-hmm. and, and, and I think it was great that we didn't have people with cell phones, with photo, the like cameras, yeah. for all the shit that we did. Yeah. And it wasn't oh, posted man. everywhere. Well, oh. I don't know, because we did still, like, take pictures. I mean, I remember getting pictures and no, taking we did pictures. pictures. Know, but but like, it wasn't to, like, shame anybody. I, I did hear, there was a story when I was in high school with, like, these guys I worked with at the restaurant. Um, they went to a different high school where apparently like some 
got like his he was hooking up with a girl and his friends were hiding in like the closet and they took pictures of them and then they got them printed and they whatever <gasps> and they went to school so there's like, that kind of shit was happening Wow. I, wow. Yeah, that's really mean. I know. That's it was super, really mean. Like that's mean. It was really, really mean. Yeah. They went to St. Pat's. Uh, oh, of course. You know. <laughs> but um that's the kind of stuff that was happening. But I mean it wasn't often, whereas like now, like everyone has a cell phone and you just take a picture and it like just Yeah, because a lot of people are, you know, are, are the not instant, like, but nobody instant, cares yeah. anymore. Yeah. And everybody wants to be internet famous now, so yeah. they're okay with having people take pictures of mm. them. Yeah. So like on TikTok now, everybody's like, "Find me this person. Mm. I saw this person." So TikTok mm, yeah. does their magic, and everybody finds them. Yeah. It's crazy, it's crazy. isn't it? Creepy yeah. though. Yeah. Like, I don't want people to stalk me and then kind of find me and stuff. Like, yeah. it's super weird. It's yeah, super no, weird. That's, that's too much. Even like, it's weird though, because like for a while there, when we finally did get like pictures on mm. cell phones, it's like. Uh, people were like, "Well, no, don't take a picture of me. Don't, don't do mm. this." And then all of a sudden, when YouTube started to come in, and then people started making YouTube videos, and then they went to social media, yeah. and then that's where it's like, "Oh yeah, okay, that's what I'm gonna use my, <clears throat> you know, camera for." Yeah, it's such a evolution, right? Where people go from, "No, I don't want to be on the internet. I don't want to take pictures taken." To now, it's like every other person's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do something stupid. Just record me," kind of thing. It's funny because like. Um, like being an entrepreneur and like being in business, I don't have a personal page on Instagram, mm-hmm. but apparently, cause I just have my business page on Instagram and I post about, you know, what I do. And sometimes I'll post about family and sometimes I'll post, post about myself, but apparently you need to have a personal page because people want to stalk you and see who you are personally. Mm-hmm. And they want to be able to <laughs> buy from you. So they want to make sure that they're buying from a person or something like that. So I'm like, what? So then I look at like different brands that I follow, different other entrepreneurs that I follow. They all have their personal pages attached on their oh, bio, is that why open it... to public okay. so that they can view what they do on a personal level. I don't like that. I don't like that at I don't all. Like that either. Yeah. No. And like Daryl tells me, like Daryl, like my husband, like he tells me all the time you should do it. And I'm like, no, I don't mm. want people to like stalk me like I that. I feel like you, you should me? have like that separation of like your personal yeah. life and your business should Absolutely. be separate all the yeah. time. Like, and like, ugh, I, I have if, like a. And it's funny because mm-hmm. if I did a yeah. personal, they probably might not like, like yeah. my views on certain yeah. things yeah. and not, you know, yeah, I keep that private. I keep that personal yeah. from. Yeah, exactly. Because it's like you don't want your 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 views on certain but like, things no, impact. Like, what if you have pictures of your kids? And yeah, you know, yeah. People yeah, see that. That's yeah. another thing too. That. You're, you'd have that for family and stuff, and you don't want people to see that. Like, if your yeah. your clients or whatever. I don't know. I just find it. No, that's strange. true. Like, and I get that it might be. They want to see maybe depending on what your client who your client is, they want to see what your views are, and if your views do align with like you know depending on yeah, what absolutely. type of business you're yeah. in and stuff like that. Because I sell uh, happy, right? So they want to make sure, I don't know, I'm just, I'm yeah. guessing that I'm happy as well. Like, you mm. know, on a personal level. Yeah. And it's like, what, what's that, any of your business? no idea. But that's, that's how a lot of people want to mm. buy from you now is that they want to see your personal, mm. right? But back in the day, we that was never right for us to be like, I want to mm. buy this. I'm not going to go and stock who they are. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It wasn't yeah. like, uh, mind we, you, we didn't have a lot of entrepreneurs back then. Like a, back then, it was just you're buying a brand or you're buying yeah. from corporate or you're buying, you know. But mm-hmm. you're not buying from a, 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 a hard, small was, business. Yeah, it was a lot harder to find small businesses. It was very hard there, to. Right? Yeah, now it's a lot easier yeah. for smaller businesses yeah. to be out there. Yeah. Um, but like in, I wouldn't like. I get you want to know who's selling what you're buying, but at the same time, it's like you there's there's no business for you all you need to know is that the business is legit yeah like that's the the extent There's that you boundaries. should be yeah like make sure that you what you're you're what you're paying for is actually what you're going to be getting and not mm-hmm. like oh okay just go look for the reviews that's like the mm-hmm. basic thing like i tell people like oh mm-hmm. you want to have you bought from this person like no go look at the reviews and the people yeah. will tell you okay yeah Quality is good, quality is yeah. bad, delivery, this, this, that, and this. Like, you don't need to go and be like, oh, what did they eat last night for yeah, dinner? I don't know. That's, That's just so, creepy. Like, how do you know that their personal Instagram page isn't just catered to what they're, they mm-hmm. want to show? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that'd be funny if someone did that. Just kind of, like, copy-pasted what they do on their business onto their personal. 
just to screw with people? They do that. There's, There's a, a lot yeah, of businesses like that. Some people who just, their personal, like, they, they're not showing themselves or just showing their, you know, business side. Or, yeah, that's or smart. It's for their audience. Yeah, that's smart. But it's funny. When I show the kids, people will mention, oh, I saw, it's so cute. I saw your kids. And, and then they'll go into, like, um, oh, they look a little different. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God. yes, my kids are, you know, mixed. Like, mm. So, like, it's like you bring on conversations like that that sometimes mm. uh, I don't really That's care to have because yeah, it's so kind of this. like none of your business, mm. one. And two, like, you, are you saying it mm-hmm. in passing? Are you saying it, like, to get more information? Like, yeah. like I get it. Everybody, like, wants to know what you are. Yeah. Nobody wants to know who you are. They want to know what, what you, you are. Yeah. And and it's like we've always had that growing up. Where are you from? Mm-hmm. And we knew when you say where you're from, it's not I'm from Canada. Yeah. It's what like yeah. nationality yeah, 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 are yeah, yeah, you? Yeah. And it's funny how like I see like certain things on TikTok where immigrants like you know like people from the UK that you know moved mm-hmm. to Canada, and they're like saying, oh, I've never had that question asked for me before when someone asks me where I'm from, mm-hmm. and when I tell them, they're like, no, 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 like where. Like, like, what's your nationality? What's yeah. your background? Yeah. yeah. But we've always had that. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's like a number, North, maybe even just Canadian thing. Actually. I think it is a Canadian well, thing. Well, when we went to the states to pick up Mona from New Jersey, it was like me and Maha, and like at the border, they're like, "Where are your parents from?" What does uh, it matter? Our yeah. passports say we're Canadian. We're, we're born here. Yep. And you're like, what the hell? Yeah. Like, why? But they're not even in the car. Well, <laughs> that that all has that that stems from. Uh, 2001 right yeah mm-hmm. um and that stems from mm-hmm. the big anniversary that's no i get it but that was, i mean that was years so, ago and i get it but like it says we're born in montreal it but your last name yeah yeah, yeah. that know? was the same thing like when i went when i crossed the border i remember for your volleyball yeah i was like two people in the front that coach and mm-hmm. it was even jp mm-hmm. jp who's arab but his yeah. last name is very sounds very french yeah. so them two in the front and then me and uh He's Polish, mm-hmm. so he has a very, really, really Polish last name. So they look, they get, they get all our IDs. They look at the the two of the front, literally two seconds, okay, and then they're like, roll down the back window, please. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my buddy were like sitting there, like, oh my mm-hmm. god, and he just stared at us. And mm-hmm. I shaved my face that day, shaved it clean, tried to be as like shaved. white as shave possible. Shave it clean, and you have like this like. No, no, I know, like, I like, like that morning of, like, I, know, I went. But, like, sh- sh- like made sure yeah. and like he's just literally there a good like solid two minutes mm-hmm. just staring at us looking at our IDs staring at us looking at our IDs like this like, two what minutes is it I'm like gonna do and he's like okay you can go now I'm like oh my like what yeah it's like, uh <laughs> yeah it's it stems from that yeah. and then because of that um there's been a whole racist card against Oh yeah. yeah. So yeah. anything, everyone who looks Arab, so like yeah. South Asians and everything, yeah. because yeah. yeah. No, I can see that. But it's funny because like, um, like in high school, like my high school was predominantly immigrant, and the minority actually were white people, were the white French, mm-hmm. and um, we all had like it was like a mixed group of immigrant kids. And we're like first generation here in Canada. So like you had the Arabs, so all the Lebs, um, all the Somalians, all of the Haitians, um, a few Asians, and um, a few white. Like, uh, But we were mainly a, a big like Somalian mm-hmm. Lebanese school. Wow. Oh, it was a right. really, that's really right. fun time, I have to say. Like I had the <laughs> best, best time in high school. Um, and it's funny because like my kids are in high school now, which in Quebec is like grade seven. They start high school. Mm-hmm. And um, so Layla's in grade nine, Maddie's in grade seven. And um, it's so different. It's mm-hmm. so different. Everybody has a phone. Everybody's tracking each other with their phones. Yeah, that's the, the weird Snapchatting thing. Snapchatting all of the time. Even like, like when we were in high school, it wasn't like that. Like, it wasn't. So people had cell phones here and there, yeah. but like it wasn't mm-hmm. like, oh yeah, I know where you are. I miss those letters that you yeah. have to fold in a way. I show them. Yeah. I'm like, you guys don't that anymore yeah. like, and pass notes and there's yeah. like a secret oh. way to like do it and actually we were doing it at like the 70s bridal shower someone was writing her a letter and wanted to fold it that yeah. way and they had to like youtube it because they couldn't remember how to like oh no oh, yeah i showed layla how to do it way. yeah i, I never <laughs> yeah i showed layla how to do that do it was it. cute the secret so. way then you pull it out and then you yeah 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 i never understood that because like, i never i passed notes it was like me and guys it was like 
Yeah, guys don't care. Girls. <laughs> they just yeah, toss the it. We had like, letters. Yeah. It was like pages and pages yeah. of letters. Oh, of like, man. It yeah. was ridiculous. It was, it was cool. Sure. I still have a lot of them, you actually. You guys can't wait till like, the break and just talk? No. But it's funny that it's funny that you say that, because you know what? Um, <laughs> That's long. Like, so we would see each other at school, and then we'd like talk to each other on the phone after, or see each other after school. And your parents are always like, ah, oh, didn't you just see each other? Didn't you? And it's funny. I do the same thing to the kids. I'm like, didn't you guys see each other at school? <laughs> And and it's funny because they're like they're like fifteen hundred at that school. Jesus, that's a lot of kids. Yeah, we were so not we weren't that that many. We we're like three fifty four hundred, yeah. I think, at the school. Well, you lost. That's I, how. That's why you lost your school. Well, yeah. because we lost our school because um, St. Pat's ended up buying our because they school. Were bigger. They were bigger, so they ended up s- selling it and they bought it. Yeah. And then when we moved, just people decided not to want to yeah. be in that neighborhood, right? Because yeah. mm-hmm. you didn't want to travel that far to school yeah so it dwindled down to that much and then and they opened up other public yeah. french so other people just kind of went out yeah. to other public french schools and then they just kind of uh, decided they didn't need it anymore out, and mm-hmm. then but they over. also kind of killed off a lot of other public french here oh yeah yeah they, they there's like and there's one only of, a few left there's one not of them, a lot one of them turned into uh, walmart on baseline yeah so there right? you go see that was they <laughs> tore it down and they built that that was a school, there? That was a school. Oh, yeah. That was a big school on top of that. That wasn't. It wasn't Which like one a, is that? It was. Franco um, West? No, 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 no. Franco West is still there. Okay. Um, was it Laurentian? I don't remember. There's Rito. Rito is one. Rito, Rito, Rito is, yeah, they closed. Andre Lavando, they closed. Rito, they closed. Yeah. Laurentian, I think they closed. Yeah. Franco. Uh, and no, it's Champlain. Champlain, they closed. Champlain that they was closed. they shared with Franco West, and they yeah. closed Champlain. Yeah, and then Franco West took over. And then over. Franco West took over. J. S. Woodworth, they closed. They closed it, that. And that became a French public. Is is now a French public. Okay. Well, so we didn't have a lot of French public. There was a lot. French um, Catholic. It was French. It was French Catholic. Catholic. It was very French Catholic. Catholic. They had more money in the Catholic school board mm-hmm. than they did in the public. Yeah. Yes, because they, they still do because they it's still coming, do. it comes out of our taxes. Like yeah, we have absolutely. to specifically like you know. But nobody tells you that, right? No, no one does. I only figured nobody out tells you that. You go to the school though. But no. you don't own the property, right? So these are immigrant kids that are coming in. Their parents are renting, so you, so they don't. So, so they, they don't, don't do. They it's don't pay the, the taxes. Who, so it's the landlords, right? So they don't yeah. care. They're just gonna do whatever they want, right? Well, so, so the land, like I don't know where the landlords, but, the, but like I mean, I know with our like yeah. taxes. Well, no, that, yeah. That we own a house and then or whatever, so and we have to we have to specifically because automatically when you buy yeah. the house, it goes to English public or something. Mm-hmm. Um, so then we have to fill out a form saying French. Catholic. So we had to do that yeah. for the kids because um, the only reason we did it mm-hmm. is because they were going to an English school. Yeah, so we bad. had to start paying English school right. board. But if, um, but before we had the kids, we were paying French. Yes, because it's automatic for us. So here it's automatic yeah. English, public, I think, and you have to be like you have to fill out a tax yeah. form to say I want my money to go blah blah blah. And that's why our school. Like, but we didn't Catholic know that until they told money. us. Yeah, until the school told us. I didn't know that until yeah. I bought a house. Yeah, so, no, until the school like, told us. By the way, this is what you have to do so that we can get the money. And we're like, um, okay, sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Well, then this is why. So like when you know the when they had to retrofit all like the schools for like ventilation, all this stuff. Like our schools were all like like our school was done and other people are like oh no we have no ventilation in our school there's no air conditioning there's well, no, no. We're like, oh, oh yeah but then i didn't of... realize it's because we were putting money into it directly to like that school like, so the board, school we didn't board, so have money. yeah but we didn't have ventilation because we didn't really need um air conditioning or anything like that because yeah. our school mm-hmm. is mostly in winter season right no, no no i get it but like right 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 when the pandemic came they had to like retrofit everything right like, our school immediately yeah, 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 was yeah. retrofitting whereas yeah. other schools weren't and so I was wondering, I was like, oh, why, why, you know. Money. They, but the they, government they, did put money aside for yeah. that. Yeah, they put yeah. a lot of money aside They put a lot of money. So I know some people, parents were like, oh, like the school has like no ventilation, no, da, da, da. And I was like, oh, our school does. And they, and they sent us a letter saying like they had changed everything. The ventilation's amazing yeah. and it's like more whatever and all this stuff. But now I realize it's because of our, the money that we yeah, put into it. Because I remember um, when in, in elementary school, it's like you go to the gym, you want to go to gym class. Oh, no, it's, and it's like you're a big, suffocating. A big yeah. ass like fan that doesn't even work. But you know what's funny? It's not yeah. No, no, no. When they started school, there was a heat wave. Yeah. So there's nothing. Yeah. Like, there's no fans blowing. Yeah. Like it's the open, yeah. like the windows. Like yeah, there's no like, AC. Mm-hmm. But it's it's because yeah. our schools are just mainly winter yeah. rised. That's true. Yeah. At least we have heat. Like, oh, yeah, I guess, yeah. yeah. So weird. Super dry. <laughs> we have heat all year round. Yay. Um, so funny. Yeah. So okay. Um, one, another thing in the okay so we were 
I wrote down a bunch of things that was from the show. Uh, one of the things I think would be was pretty funny was um, fighting with your parents in the nineties is very different than now. Especially <sighs> with especially like so so the Asian culture like the Korean culture is very similar to the Arab culture. Mm-hmm. Okay, and in the show they kind of show it where the dad was like, "I'm gonna sh-, he's he, every time the the daughter wanted something like." She wanted new jeans. She wanted new clothes. She wanted three hundred dollar jeans, oh and he's like, "No, yeah. <laughs> right." So it was like constant fights, and then every time he's like, "If you do something stupid, I'm, I'm gonna cut your hair. I'm gonna shave your head. I'm gonna oh shave God. your head." And then at one point, she did something really stupid where she like so so they're in Busan, and then she went to Seoul. So Busan is uh, pretty much Toronto, okay. and then Busan is Ottawa. Okay. So like a five to seven hour, depending mm-hmm. on if you're day, driving or whatever. So she went there for a concert, oh middle God. of school week, skipping school, <laughs> <laughs> skipping school to go see her favorite band play. Right. right, bad got the guy got fed up and he like cut her hair. Oh my gosh! But not like didn't shave her head. Didn't shave her head, but like cut it enough where she had to like cut her hair kind of like above. Oh, no. Right. So I think like all the like the fights that you guys had growing up with mom and dad. And with each other and it kind of reminded me of like the way they fought in the show and i'm thinking like that's not how that's not how the kids fight with parents these days anymore. no not at all right i don't know i feel like it depends on the culture no i think it's because our kids are second second generation canadian um and because we've been through mm-hmm. everything yeah um i have a i have a really good relationship with the kids like i mm-hmm. like we're we talk all the time uh, we do, how was your day? They tell me about everything. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I'm sure they keep certain things from me and all that stuff, but like we, we talk, like we, yeah. we talk mm-hmm. all the time. And when they get in trouble, they get in trouble. Like <laughs> they, they get in trouble. Mm-hmm. But there's no, there's no beating anybody. There's no, no slapping anybody. No. There's no telling them that they're like, you know, yeah. you come, you know, you're son of a dog, you know, all that <laughs> stuff. Like, there's no calling, yeah. name calling. There's no, none of that stuff. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's a little, it's a, it's, it's very, very different. I should say that they're very lucky right now. Yeah, I, I feel the same because like yeah. we like watching like watching the show. It's like it's very similar to like our culture, like yeah. the Korean culture. It's like you're, you're either getting a slap behind the head, mm-hmm. you're gonna get yeah. something thrown at you, you're getting like yeah, the cussed at. I, I like, love the, the TikTok reels of the people like imitating their parents because I was like the stuff you know just like the yeah. the when the guy like slams it, I was like fuck, and then like the parent and comes then the in, comes and like, fuck me, fuck you, yeah, I'm fuck you, yeah, fuck you, yeah, 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 that's dead, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I think yeah, we've heard that cute. one a lot. We've oh, oh, heard that one a lot. So you couldn't say anything. And then you couldn't, so in Arabic, when they say uh, bint al-kalb, which mm-hmm. means daughter of a dog, mm-hmm. when you finally realize what it means, yeah. and then you turn around and you look at him and you're like, you know that you're swearing at yourself. Yeah. You get in more trouble, <laughs> yeah. and then you get more of a beating, and then you get more <laughs> yeah. of a, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the shahata is a big thing, the slipper. Yeah, the slipper. Yeah, the slipper in yeah. the... It's funny, because yeah. mom was really like, pretty gentle with us she was really like it's fine. nice it was yeah. just dad, dad all the time dad yeah. was a little yeah, yeah. They, they, need, yeah they need that balance yeah. right that was yeah. uh no that was a, that was like yeah. watching the show it was, it was funny because um i'm like oh wow, this is like this is like it's just like an arab household it's like yeah just showing oh more similarities between the koreans and like the mm-hmm. arabs it's like wow this is funny like he's like telling her uh like she's fighting with the dad at one point where she's like uh oh i'm gonna go see tony so tony is the main like the the main singer of hot it's like i'm gonna go see tony in concert and he's like you're gonna go see that monkey face piece of shit (laughs) and she's like dad he's not a piece of shit he's better looking than you oh yeah yeah i feel like i did that a lot with him yeah when i was like backstreet boys oh man oh yeah Um, backstreet boys days because I was like, thank you. Nah, New Kids on the. We no, did we, it with New Kids on the Block. We had to force him to buy us a cassette tape. But we went like, to a concert. Force. I was like seven. That was like my cassette first concert. Tapes. No, no, but it was before. It was before, like yeah. when, like, um, what's it called? Um, what's the what's the? Anyways, their album came out, and it was like the Hangin' Tough was coming yeah. out. Okay. Hangin' Tough came out. We were in Toronto. Uh, we were there because like Dad was selling like some stuff, so we were doing like a market with him. And so we went to HMV and we wanted oh, HMV. Yeah, HMV. We wanted that was another 90s thing. HMV Music World. H- yeah. We wanted the we wanted the cassette. And 
we had to like it was like pulling teeth i think it was 12.99 12.99 watching your kids try to open the cassette tape was like oh my god oh my god i was like okay i see this trend everywhere i need to freaking oh my god do I, this. I was yelling at i was yelling at it i was it like literally was sitting so in the car funny. it was waiting for my super buddy, funny and she takes it out trying to put it back out. but like, layla when she did Whoa. it it took Layla a lot longer yeah. to open it. Really? It took her a lot longer. But I thought she watched Maddie open it. No, no, no. She had done it first. Oh, so I don't okay. I don't know why Daryl posted Maddie first, but he, okay. he I was like, why didn't you post Layla? Layla's was the first one anyway. So and it was like they were all in awe. Like, there's oh music in this? Yeah. Oh my god. Good. Can I have one? And I'm like, no, I'm not buying a cassette tape. I have some at home. Like, yeah. why are you like oh no. my gosh. Oh it was super God. funny just at, like just watching them try to open yeah. like, when she was trying to put it back and in, then putting I it back it. in and I, they yelled, I yelled at the, yeah. I yelled and in the middle in the car I'm like just put it back the way you took it out <laughs> but Why that's the thing so I'm hard? like yeah. how did you not realize that you took it out a certain way yeah. right I don't yeah. I don't know it was it's it was so super funny, funny. Was so mad oh my God. <laughs> super funny <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I had to do it to them I was like oh yeah because we were thrift shopping again because they were looking for 90s clothes Maddie was looking for 90s clothes of course and so yeah yeah so i found them and i was like oh here try can you can you open this for me so wait when you got this so when you got the cassette in toronto when you got the yeah uh, did you have a cassette walkman then we did did have a walkman yeah we did but we were playing the tape in the car and we played it for hours (laughs) front to back front to back front to back back and forth both sides right yeah 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 we listened to the whole thing we uh knew all the songs by the time we got home it was good (laughs) yep Listen, when we went to Europe, when we went to, Le- remember, okay, yeah. you guys yeah. were really young. So when we went to um, Lebanon and Syria, we had shipped the car to yeah. France right. yeah. and we drove through right. Europe. Yeah. It's too bad you're like really I young, like you're year a year old. Yeah. It was like the best trip. Listen, like, I remember losing my the... my kids on the block button Yeah, in the whole toilet <laughs> in Syria. <laughs> Are you pooped? <laughs> yeah, man. Like, I was so upset. So, I was very upset. Hole on the floor there. to poop. Anyway, so we did. Really so, we had. Um, what tape did we listen to on the way? Like, we did. It was 1991, right? 1991. Mm-hmm. And um, it took us a week to drive across Europe. It was like a really good trip. Like, I remember. Except when we got robbed. <laughs> no, no, but that's the thing. That was the whole point. Like, the, remembering it now. Mm-hmm. I would redo the whole trip all over again. Like, redo oh it. Oh, my God. Um, but we listened to, oh, my God, Fresh Prince of... No, it was Will Smith. Yeah. It was Rap Tracks. Rap Tracks 2, I think, was out. Oh my and God. we listened to that the whole time. Wow. Don't remember that? No. Yeah, Rap Tracks. <laughs> so we listened to that one all the way for about a week. I remember losing a shoe. Wow. We lost a lot of things. Uh, we got we slept in the... We okay, so Bulgaria is the worst Bul- place ever. I will never go there again. Yeah, we got robbed. In Bulgaria. That place is back and forth. We got robbed twice. Wow! I just will never. I remember the one time? I don't really. Uh, I won't. No. No. Nah, nah. Bulgaria. Oh no. my god! Uh, twice. That twice. Going once. and coming. Oh my god! And um, yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, so we we went through Yugoslavia when the um so oh, the cra- when, when the, the war and yeah, all that yeah, stuff yeah. and they had just finished. My God, so went... when we were kind of driving through, we could see all of the tanks and everybody, all the army coming out. Holy shit! It was like crazy. It was crazy. Um, going through you know Turkey, went through Austria. So when you mm. go through Western Europe. It's like clean, clean, clean. Everything is clean. Mm. The streets are clean. Everything, even McDonald's was like super, super clean. And as you drive through Western into Eastern Europe, then you start seeing. So Bulgaria kind of sits in the Eastern where yeah. they're like, you know, oh, you everybody's stealing and poor and blah and, you know. Hmm? Did you guys get McDonald's in Europe? We didn't. We had to use the washroom. Oh, okay. I'm like, that. that <laughs> I feel like we did. Mom feel like and dad like are generous. Austria, we never... Yeah, but that was like not in Austria. Like, okay. I think that was like more like Paris when we I were in remember. France. We didn't get that shit growing up. I didn't no. get that shit when I was growing up. Uh, I was yes, like, whenever Yo. we traveled, we'd always go to McDonald's for hotcakes, like the yeah. pancakes. But in the morning, like when we drove to Florida, yeah, we saw yeah. pancakes um, at McDonald's. Where was I in Florida? I don't know. Exactly. Oh, you were you were the <laughs> exactly. apple of the eye. Yeah. Oh, no, and then oh, no, no, there was, was, was telling <laughs> yeah. Jesse. Oh no, it was <laughs> awful. Yeah. Oh, no, but yeah, yeah. apple of the eye. Telling us in the car. Yeah, we don't want to know. Yeah, and I was just like. Yeah, that's why he was calling you Florida man. I totally yeah. forgot. Yeah. 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 It was lovely. I, yeah, yeah. I totally forgot I had. But you had a great Easter. 
<laughs> well, you you have a, you had a great Easter, so it's good. I remember I remember being outside with you at Easter and like looking for, for stuff the, eggs, the yeah. eggs in the bush. Like that's like my memory of Florida. Yeah. Is we that... did Disney World. We did. We did Epcot Center. It was good. Yeah. That was the same trip, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 87. I remember because the parade. It was a, no, it was 88, I think, because Haysom was like a baby, baby, baby yeah. still. Yeah. Wow. Everything before. New summer. Everything before. 88. Yeah. It was yeah, 88. I was, I was like four. So it was and then when I was a year yeah. old, a year <laughs> old. Yeah. Yeah. I was a no. year old and I got to travel the world and I don't remember shit. It was like. I was like. Europe, I don't remember Yo, Europe was a good that, trip. At Europe and Syria, I was in a stroller. So I was. I don't remember was, much, man. But I remember was, losing a shoe. I remember we got robbed. I remember. But it, it's funny because being <laughs> like, seeing the '90s mm-hmm. in you know Europe and the Middle East and stuff like that, and then coming home and being in the '90s is completely different. But now I feel like the world is way more advanced than we are here in Canada. Yeah. For some reason. Yeah. I like can, I thought. Yeah. So in the '90s, I yeah. felt like we were more advanced. Yeah. But no. like now, yeah, yeah, because in Lebanon and and mm-hmm. Syria and all that mm-hmm. stuff, so like so Lebanon, yes, because they were already like coming off of their like the civil war, the civil stuff, war, yeah. whatever, and um, seeing downtown Beirut like in ruins and like mm-hmm. seeing like books with like bullet holes in them and stuff oh like that, God. it was like like it's devastating. It's devastating. Lebanon, so like, so like in Lebanon now, when you go, you'll have like a beautiful building, and then you'll have. A destroyed building next to it like they just never took it down they never whatever and you see but there's no money to take it down right yeah. they have more money to build, build than to, to it, yeah yeah but like syria was very i found outdated almost because yeah. everybody had the hole in the floor bathroom and all that stuff but now so apparently that's that's the proper way to poop but it is it is it is in japan they it have absolutely it absolutely is and, and some places in lebanon too you yeah. have a hole like we went to one restaurant and there was a hole in the ground and one i know stall. china has the chill and yeah. then they'll have regular japan, stalls yeah. next to it yeah japan too yeah japan was crazy i think daryl like, is telling me he went to china hong kong and all that stuff yeah. they still had them yeah it was pretty Intense. Though. I think like, but like, yeah, some places. Like, but like, I was saying, like, in in Lebanon, one restaurant had one stall with a hole in the floor, and then the other two were normal. So like, yeah. I think feel like some people might still have a preference to poop in the hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess yeah, yeah. because that's what they do, right? With but the little bucket. They're so yeah. They're so I still used see to buckets it. like those everywhere yeah. in immigrant so... homes, like any immigrant. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's a bucket everywhere. Oh yeah. But it's just, uh, yeah, you know, I don't know. I, it's just, it's sad to see. I mean, we didn't go to Syria, but we went to when we went to Lebanon, like in like ten years ago. That's kind of what it was. But I mean, depending on where you're going in the city or in like the the country yeah. or whatever, you know, yeah. some are very, you know, some have money uh, and some don't yeah, have money. So right. especially like, I mean, if you go where like our family's from, like the Muslim sector, yeah, like, that's very rustic, and like yeah. they have not done anything with that like yeah. area. And then you get onto the highway, and then you drive down, you're like, there's Applebee's and TGI Fridays and Starbucks, yeah, and, you know, uh, you're like, whatever. yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, that's what that's why. Like when we were there, it wasn't anything like that. Even Syria was very like, it brown. was super. Pr- it was very brown. <laughs> it was super pretty. It is, it is like brown. Did the castles? We saw, and you would drive through the country, and you would see new cities being. Um, excavated because they were like in the sand right so yeah. all of the Mesop- okay. like all of the time like yeah. thousands and thousands of year old they're like excavating all of these archaeological yeah. digs and, and it's it was so so cool to see like just mm-hmm. like you could see all of the yeah. f- top formations of all these buildings yeah. and stuff like That's that so, so cool. it's really cool you like, see, like in the Balbuck in like Lebanon that was like the coolest thing ever yeah and you're just like these pillars are so humongous. How did they even ship these here? You know, oh they're they're not they're not from there. You yeah. know, yeah, yeah. these they're are from, these are the Romans, Romans, right? All, and yeah. like they had like the the house of Bacchus and all this stuff. And you're like, this is yeah. not from here. And they would use ships and stuff like. But the the stone is so heavy. Like how would they even? Yeah, it doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Huh? Yeah. Then... Oh my god, we almost like I felt like we died on the way down from like the mountain anyways because the trucks are driving and like no one like drives properly i think there's no railing railing. and nobody cares and they're all driving like crazy i couldn't do it no oh no like you're like this in lebanon covering your eyes you're like oh my god yeah i guess that's the one thing they haven't changed (laughs) (laughs) no stop signs red lights no. What is this and then red? they come here and they start driving like maniacs too. Yeah. So it's crazy. No, yeah, no, no. The light was red. Uh, what red light? <laughs> yeah. Red. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. You're you're right. Like I like when we went to like it was in Japan. We went to Europe, and it's so much different than it is here. Mm-hmm. The food now. is different. The food oh, alone man. is ridiculous. Like you'll have 
um, celiac here. Yeah. yeah. But once you go to Europe, you have nothing. Yeah. yeah. That was the issue. Like, that was the, that was the funniest thing. Like, when we, we, we were... Once. None. Yeah. yeah. We went to London. When we went to London, we decided we really wanted a breakfast, even though there's no such thing as breakfast in London. Nope. So we went... To, it was it was like noon. So we we're like, okay, we're going to have breakfast at lunch. Whatever. So we had like... Uh, it was uh, waffles. Was it waffles that, so. at that little cafe? Oh, it was amazing. No, it wasn't. It was like... Uh, French else. toast type of thing it was a french toast it was it was bread it was everybody bread. downplays she's, she's, freaking london food she can't she london can't have food is yeah freaking amazing 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 like and she curry can't have bread. Pub food curry it is pub but food. because of you know the colonization yeah. and all that stuff and they brought them like yeah. you no know, yeah. but no it was everything like they have really yeah, good did, korean yeah 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 food. oh man we went to this one they korean spot that korean had the food. best food. korean fried chicken so i've ever yeah. had yeah amazing yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. No, do she doesn't eat that. Yeah. She doesn't eat chicken thighs. It's yeah. super, yeah. super, super clean over there in terms of like food. There's yeah. no GMO. Like no, the it's... flour they use is different from the flour here. Yeah. You would, yeah. it, you would well, notice. Europe that... has like certain ingredients that like like their ketchup is different. They're they're everything's different. Even though it's Heinz, yeah, their it's completely different. Are different yeah. than ours because they're not allowed certain ingredients. Yeah. Whereas yeah. like we yeah. allow certain ingredients. That we should. I've actually just yeah. read something where this lady thought she was celiac and then she went to Europe did the same thing yeah. ate everything no problem came back and figured out she wasn't gl- like gluten intolerant or anything like that mm-hmm. it was a certain type of ingredient that here they yeah. put in the flour yeah that, that, like... that you're that makes yeah. you yeah. sick too so no yeah and no, like there's surprised. like the red dye that people are allergic to like yeah. oh yeah yeah i have a client like that yeah so it's no really raspberry bad. no it's... nothing japan was just as amazing too like when we went to japan it was like mm-hmm. so so like everything we had was just it it tasted better it wasn't like and it was so much cheaper to eat there out go eat out there we had $6. we would eat six dollars for an entire plate of like chicken uh vegetables like salad everything mm-hmm. for oh like gosh. six bucks mm-hmm. for That's six dollars like here yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's like, like there and, and there, all the taxes are included in the price that you see. It's like and tip and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah they don't. You're yeah. not. There's no There's tipping tip there, right? So it's, it's like you go in there and it's like, oh, you have ten. You got you got a thousand yen in your pocket, and you're like, oh, that's yeah. nine hundred and fifty yen. Perfect. I'm going there. You're gonna have. You're leaving yeah. with fifty yen, yeah. right? You're not tipping. Yeah. You're not. No, like all the taxes are there. Nice. It's like that's what it should be here. Awesome. And I London thought they too. Were doing that, no? In London, London too, too yeah. they had no. that where they they show you like VAT included. Like yeah. this is the price and all that thing, which is like. This is how it should be done. Yeah. I don't want to go to a restaurant here and be like, okay, it's $13. And okay, okay, what taxes? How much am I going to pay? It's like, well, because it's, especially when you go to like different like places, like if you go to Trombla, where it's like a resort town, they have yeah. regular taxes and then they have Trombla taxes. Yeah. And they have blah, blah, blah. And like, you have, so they can't, yeah. Like, and like, then tips, some places are tips. Yeah. And then other places like mandatory. So it's already included. Yeah. So mm-hmm. if you tip more, it's like you're wasting even more money. Like, yeah, it's just. It's crazy. So, like, actually, this question. So, in the nineties, because I was too young to really remember, um, yes. like when we went to restaurants, mm-hmm. right? We didn't go to restaurants. What's wrong with you? We went to Red Lobster. Well, that's right. Okay, oh, so yeah, I the Red Lobster. Should we tell them about the story about Red Lobster? I love lobster now. Do you? <laughs> oh my god. Yo. So we don't do restaurants. We're right. six kids, right? Yeah. So mom and dad didn't have that type of money, right? So we don't do restaurants. But yeah. we ended up going to Red Lobster. And we all sat down, we started ordering and all that stuff. And dad basically told the waitress that it didn't look like the menu, so I'm not paying for the food. Oh, no, that's not what I remember. But anyways. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what happened. I remember yes. the lobster. Yeah, yeah, because it didn't look like the I menu. screaming my head off. <laughs> yeah. And that's what I remember. Yeah. Screaming but my head off. The menu didn't look, the, the pictures didn't look like what he was eating. Oh, and he refuses to pay. And we got a free meal out of it. Wow. And you guys ate all, guys ate all of it? Yeah, but I feel bad for the waitress. Jeez. We were really embarrassed. Like, like when were we not embarrassed when Dad was like, yeah, when that like, like just embarrassing. It's just so oh my bad. god, just embarrassing. But you know what's funny though? I will act like that when my food doesn't come to the table after an hour. That's true. I give them a half an hour. Yeah. Okay, let's yeah. say a half an hour or whatever, and I will. I have three young kids that are super hungry Mm -hmm. you took my order and you left you never came back you're not even going to come to me and ask me like how i'm doing Mm -hmm. at all Mm -hmm. and i will get angry Mm -hmm. and i will tell them and flag them down 
But my husband will be like, shh, don't say anything. Shh, don't say anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm hungry. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say something. Yeah. And then, yeah, uh, yeah and then That's most, amazing. most time they forget mm-hmm. to put in the, the order. order. And so if I never said anything, yeah. we would have never eaten. Oh, my God. That's it. Uh, so that's where I like Jap- uh, Japan system, which was amazing. It's the it's not all restaurants, uh, no, no majority restaurants. So so OK, so you have the restaurants that have waiters mm-hmm. and you have the mom and pop shops who don't have waiters. So oh, yeah. the mom and pop shops is you have a vending machine, a vending machine. Uh, you choose what you want. You put your money in. You press mm-hmm. it. You get a ticket. You take the ticket. You actually give it straight to the chef behind the counter. Also, kind of like what they're doing at McDonald's right okay. now. So you give it to the guy. The guy makes his food. Gives you your food. That's like quickest yeah. thing ever because there's no there's no waiters, no nothing. In uh, family restaurants where there's waiters, there's a button. So the mm-hmm. person seats you. Once you're ready to order, you press the button. Where it comes out. Takes your order. Goes back. When you need anything, you press the button. Where it comes out. Mm-hmm. Like there's oh, no like good. flagging down. Yeah. They're not gonna come bu- bug you like mid mid bite. Yeah, after how's you your eat? first bite? You're like, rum, rum, rum. yeah, seriously. Right? <laughs> the only time they come and yeah. ask you is when yeah. your mouth is full. Yeah, and then after that they leave every you alone, single time. Right? And then it's like, oh, can I get the bill? Oh yeah, yeah, I'll get you that. Don't worry. And then they eat yeah. right. Yeah. So in Japan, it's it's the button system, and they press a button, and then mm. they come out and help you. And we it's, usually just stand like at their doorway waiting for someone to press. Yeah. yeah, yeah should yeah, I yeah. do that for my shop? I should have a button. Come and serve me. Really? Come and oh serve God. me. Hello. No. So pressing it all the time. Uh, oh, my God. But it's Super like, funny. it was such a great system because, like, if you don't have the waiter, you have you have the system where you're giving directly to the chef. Yeah, that's good. Your ticket, what you're going to, what yeah, you're ordering. Mm-hmm. So that's I found, like, funny. that would be, that's something that North America should have, in my opinion. At least oh Canada God. to, like, better our system yeah, because, bigger. like. It's uh, like, everyone's like, oh, I need someone to come check on me. I don't want anyone to come check on me. They're not going to come check on you either way. The button yeah. system is a good system, but yeah. Like, I know. Because then I, you can get the person whenever you feel like it. You're ready. Yeah, exactly. When you're ready to like, okay, I had my first bite and it didn't yeah. taste great. I'm going to press the button. Yeah. You know yeah. I mean, not like mid bite and they're like, how's yeah. it? Uh, you need, yeah. I don't even know what it tastes like. like yeah. Yeah. But we do like go to restaurants now and do tell them that everything is great when sometimes yeah. it's not great yeah, because of true. the embarrassments we've been through. So yeah, whatever. I can see that. Can so, see that. you know, button or no button. No, yeah. button, no button. Really? <laughs> well, you don't want to like also, you know, them spitting in your food and things like that. Yeah. So you don't yeah, want to send anything from, back. Yeah. I think that's no, only I, here though. I don't think that's any, like, I, I don't know. know. I think that's, I think that's here in North America. Yeah. I, I think that's here. Yeah. Yeah. American. Yeah. Because like, yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah. if they do in other countries, then uh, like, uh, that's, like that's, I said, you're going to lose your job. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah.